Sandra. Um, welcome to Barcelona. Uh, can you please tell me about your illness? Yes, I am suffering from a disease called scleroderma, systemic scleroderma. It's a disease where I produce too much collagen and the collagen is uh, all over the body. Um, so it influences on all my, my skin, my joints, my uh, heart, my kidney, my digestive, uh, my lungs, my blood circulation um, and a side effect of scleroderma is uh, Renoi that uh, is uh, cold and fingers, uh, sometimes they get white, totally white, or they got black. Uh, and I'm always freezing a lot, uh, it's very cold for me, even if it's hot. And uh, if I change the temperature, even in summer, some degrees, uh, I, my, my fingers and toes and the organs as well, uh, it's like freezing. Um, and then uh, the blood circulation stops and the biggest problem is fact actually the, the, the organs, uh, the organs cannot uh, stay without blood, of course. Um, I'm suffering from a bad back as well. I have three discos and I have some uh, arthritis in my back and I also have some in my joints. And what is the... Um the symptoms you have that uh, it is to see very visual? I have a very black skin, some part of my body, especially my lower legs are very dark brown and my fingers are very stiff, uh, the, the skin is very hard and, uh, and uh, I get uh, ulcers uh, on my fingertips and on my fingers and on my legs and it's very hard for me to to get rid of those ulcers because there is no blood circulation and when the blood circulation disappears it cannot it will take maybe years to to um, heal only one ulcer so mm -hmm. it's very hard so also you have had problems with retention of liquid Yes, um, uh, because the blood circulation is very bad and because the skin is so stiff, it's like it sticks into the bone. Uh, the liquid w will get around those areas and my fingers are very thick and my face and my uh, legs. Uh, it, it likes the, the liquid stays well in, enough, yeah. like edema. Yeah, like edema. Yeah, and also I know in your case it is specifically your lungs affected. Yeah. It could be different from patient to patient. Yeah, different symptoms from every patient. Uh, it depends on what area of the body uh, is attacked. Uh, and uh, it, in my case my lung is very bad. Um, not really the lungs, but the, the blood circulation who, who transport the oxygen. Yeah, you are missing I, I oxygen. Can, yeah, I cannot uh, take in oxygen. I, I breathe and I breathe, but it only takes in 40% uh, of 100 that normal people take in. Um, and that uh, affects uh, very much uh, my behavior, of course. And uh, I cannot walk long distance, I cannot uh, uh, do exercises or things like that. Um, and and um, my digestive is very hard attacked as well. I have very much reflux. Um, and um, the peristaltic uh, uh, movements are starting to get away uh, really early. Um, so you cannot transport the food um, through the system and um, you cannot eat uh, whatever you like actually. You cannot eat very late, you have to eat before uh, 5 o'clock in the evening. Uh, otherwise you cannot sleep in the night, you will throw up a lot, a lot. Mm. 
Yeah, so it is the esophagus, the spincher and the stomach affected also. Yeah. Okay, how long time have you been suffering of this illness? I have been suffering from almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. And Sandra, you are from Denmark? I am from Denmark. And you did, uh, during these 10 years, quite many different treatments. You did traditional medical treatment and also some not traditional. Yeah. Can you tell about that? Uh, I have tried a lot. Uh, I have tried, tried um, for example, acupuncture. Uh, for a whole year I got acupuncture every week, uh, sometimes several times of the week, uh, to try to take away some of the pain because I got pains in the joints and things like that. Um, but also to heal my ulcers and to try to loosen up the, the skin. Uh, and of course, try to 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 get the disease disappear. Uh, I've been to China, uh, been on a Buddhist hospital uh, because there was very good doctors, Chinese doctors. They gave me Chinese medicine, and uh, they gave me treatments every day. Um, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, without any results. You don't feel. Any results after that? No. Uh, sometimes it took a little pain, but next week it was the mm. same. It, it doesn't stand. What about uh, you also did stem cell therapy? I did stem cell therapy, yeah, as well. Um, in the beginning I maybe felt a little, but, but it doesn't really do anything to my disease. It is some years ago. Yeah, it's four years ago. So the results should have shown up in case. Yeah. Yes. Before three years, it 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 has to. Yeah. Get much better. But also the traditional medical system you have used. Yeah. Since you got this illness. Yeah. First you had some um, failful diagnosing. Yeah, they thought I had suffering from arthritis, and I. Uh, didn't really get effect of the treatments they gave me in the medicine and things like that. So they, after a while, they found out I have this renoid, and that's not the usual for uh, arthritis. So they figure out that there must be something else wrong, um, and then um, I found out and I was diagnosed with reflect, uh, with the renoid. So you also got some medication for that, or whatever they had to offer you? Yeah, um, mm. yeah, I have tried a lot. Yes. <laughs> medication without any results, actually. Yeah. So now you have been in Barcelona for 12 days. Yeah. You came here for a special treatment we are offering. It's called Termi Therapy. And this Termi Therapy is Termi Therapy Method of Lone Sorensen in Barcelona, the International Institute of Reflex Therapy. And um, you have had until now 12 days therapy. And now I would like you to tell about the results or what you, how was that? Yes. Um, the treatment is very nice. It's a long treatment, it takes two to three hours a day. Um, but it's very relaxing and um, in the beginning I felt uh, inner warm that you cannot believe when you are a patient like me because I'm always cold, I'm always freezing, I'm always uh, with no heat at all, even in hot weather it's, I'm cold. Um, and I got this warm from kind of inside my body. Uh, so it was very different and overwhelming that I could feel heat. And it was after the first day? That was of the, after the first treatment of the first day. Yes. Yeah. So uh, the next day uh, I was very, oh, I need to keep on uh, doing this treatment. And uh, very soon I found out that my skin, uh, the very dark skin on my legs and my fingers changed. It gets uh, not brown as uh, it was, it, it gets lighter and the skin that usually keeps uh, is, is stuck to the bones is like uh, getting loose and it's um, opening up for the blood circulation 
the color changed very much. Uh, every day it's changed. Every day you can see a difference. So um, we have some pictures we took uh, from the, the, the my legs, especially because they were very bad. Um, and uh, they are very much improving uh, from the first day and uh, until now. Yes, and what about your hands? My hands also have very stiff skin. Um, it's very thick uh, and very, um, very unflexible. And um, it starts loosening up. Uh, it's, uh, it's like all the, the very bad parts that was very, very stiff in the skin. They uh, disappeared. <laughs> they disappeared, and my fingers are flexible. I can move them. I can bench them, and um, I also in this disease uh, the calcium sometimes uh, goes around the body, um, and uh, the calcium from my bones, uh, finger and toes especially. Um, and it's, uh, then it starts uh, like stuck somewhere in the, the body. And in my case, uh, I feel it very much on my legs and my fingers. So, uh, but I realized after some treatments, maybe four or five treatments, that this calcium start disappearing. So it's like uh, all the, the calcium that makes, uh, of course, it, it hurts. But also it makes ulcers for me uh, because of it likes to <laughs> eat up from inside, kind of the skin. Um, it disappeared and uh, gets soft, um, and I was like, oh, <laughs> my God. You haven't tried this for years? No. No. <laughs> and I can see that your fingers are totally healed up. You have no ulcer no. Uh, on your finger today, that it is the 12th day of treatment. I know that it's also many years since that you tried to have no ulcer yeah. on your fingers. Yeah. Yes. What and they, they heal up every day kind yes of, yeah. it is amazing to yeah, see actually is. what about uh, other things in your body i noticed some um, questions about your um, edema your retention of liquid yeah um, it sticks of course very much because the blood circulation is uh, bad um, and the and um, it, it, it goes away uh, every day and, uh, and it, it, it softened off, up, of course, in my face, in my fingers, in my, in my legs. Um, so it's like it, it, it's getting out <laughs> and I, I didn't have those kind of depots of, of the liquid. No. The way to express it is maybe that the day you came you were quite swollen. Mm -hmm. You looked swollen, mm -hmm. and today it's totally different. You have a lot less visually retention of liquid on your face, yeah. and the, also in the rest of the body. Yeah. Yes. I have um, also um, a very bad situation about my blood circulation and, and, and taking in the oxygen, and I, I feel that that might be uh, better. I have to take some uh, uh, tests by the doctors, of course, when I come home from Barcelona now. Um, and I'm very, looking very much forward to see if, if it, there is a difference uh, about that. Yeah. You also said something about tiredness. Yeah. The disease is very uh, much over all the body. And, and, and every patient are very tired. Um, and and from day two or three or something like that, I feel much more energy. Uh, I was not tired. I was not feeling this heavy he heaviness in the body as I usually feel. Uh, so I was like full of energy in a different way. Also for walking. Also for walking. You felt less heavy to yeah. walk. Yeah. It was easier for you to walk longer. Yeah. And also because the pain in my 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 bones and my and my in my joints uh, disappeared, um, I have this very bad back as well. And every time uh, I, I I I got some treatments, you know, uh, it 
from my back. If I got the termi treatment on my back, the the pain will disappear immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have some kind of cramps in the muscles, um, and I don't feel them anymore. I just had one treatment uh, on my muscle, different parts. If if I say to the therapist, uh, can you please uh, look at this uh, because I have cramps here? Uh, she takes it away once immediately. Yeah, and you also told me something about your wrist. Yeah. You had some. I have. Uh, yeah, I have very much swollen wrists here. And I have very much pain. I had <laughs> very much pain, um, and um, and it's gone. Normally, I have very much swollen here and on my fingers as well, um, but they disappeared, um, and it's very painful uh, to have this uh, this um, this. Uh, I don't really know if it's an odemia or whatever it is, but but it it's gone and, and the pain is gone. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah. Uh, also about your eating, you told me that you had some bitter... Yeah. Um, the, the, the last thing I actually found out, it's like when things disappear, you don't really realize uh, before you say, oh, what happens to me? I forgot to eat my medicine um, because I take a lot of medicine for reflux, um, but I don't get reflux anymore. <laughs> kind of like I still take a little just to be secured, yeah. uh, but nothing like what I did before. And actually, I know you have suffered for this eight or ten years. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, and it's very bad because uh, I. I get very sick in the nights and uh, throw up all the nights actually, and I cannot eat uh, later than five. And, and this is maybe I, here I maybe eat at eight nine o'clock in the evening, but nothing happens mm. and I sleep like a baby. <laughs> so what would you say generally about your experience for these twelve days here in Barcelona having therapy? It has been amazing results. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Um, but it's also a very nice treatment. It's uh, a, a treatment that feels very good uh, and uh, relaxing and and um, it's very nice to have treatments every day of course. Um, and, and I think uh, 12 days uh, here is wonderful, of course, but uh, it's it is really amazing what happens to me. Yeah. I can imagine. So you are so happy for that that you ask us to arrange uh, a therapist to come to Denmark to treat you for a month. Yeah. It will be in the month of June. Yeah. Yeah. So of course we will also follow you after this month. But we also have to tell a little bit about what is termi therapy. So termi therapy, it is a Japanese treatment and it is a combination of seven Japanese herbs dried and made as like a kind of stick, like an incense. And um, we burn these herbs and uh, we use them inside a metal tube. And with this we are working and it can be, uh, as you already explained, where there is some pain directly on the areas. It can be on your skin areas where you have this tired skin because of too much collagen and it can be directly on your ulcer, on your fingers. We can actually use these tubes, uh, they are heated, we uh, burn uh, with fire uh, these uh, herbs in the same moment we are using them. So it's very heat, hot, um, but it is not, um, it is a nice treatment. It's very nice. Yes, it's not doing any harm or burning no, the, no. the patient or the clients at all. It's just like um, it gets 340 grades hot and um, this um, special treatment, what it does, it is that it works like from the inner side of the body. It means it works from the bone medulla and outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it, um, it is based in, we can say, Mm, sick cells, they are always cold. 
and by heating them up, they are getting healthy. It is a very, very simple explanation. Mm. And of you course, can really feel it. Yes. Yeah. This is this effect of the tubes and the heat and the herbs who makes that possible. And also uh, the, the smoke. So you are inhalating smoke from the same herbs during the treatment also. No? And absorbing also herbs by your skin. But it is not the whole thing. You have to apply this treatment as with a protocol for treatments, uh, not only to treat where you have um, pain. We must also do um, therapy called reflex therapy uh, with the same treatment. So we are working on reflex areas on feet and face in between all the other manipulation with the herbs during the treatment. So this is a very short and simple explanation of termi therapy. And as you already said, it takes about two to three hours in a case as yours for a chronic illness. And we use it for this kind of illness as a, a category that you have, uh, autoimmune and immune system illnesses, but also cancer patients can have termi treatment and actually all kind of patients with chronic illnesses uh, can have this kind of treatment. But of course it must be done every day when you have an illness as yours. We also use it for different kinds of rheumatic illnesses. It can actually be used for many, many things. And we also have some clients coming for termi therapy as an anti-wrinkle treatment. That is not exactly what we need. But um, somebody likes to have it for more uh, beauty uh, issues. So it can be used for uh, beauty also. So if you like to hear more about Termi treatment and about Sander's results, it is possible to communicate with you, Sander. Yes. And uh, it could be, for instance, by email or you also have a web page. What do you prefer? My web page is 3w and it's eteach.me. Yes. And my email is info and the uh, a <laughs> and eteach.me. Yeah, so if somebody likes to hear more uh, about your results and your treatment and your illness, they can write you to consult you. Mm -hmm. Or you are also welcome to contact the International Institute in Barcelona and the email is sorensensystem.gmail.com Thank you, Sandra. You're welcome.